G'day guys, Matt from Dead Memory Records here. We're here for week four. We've got the patient in the house, ready to kill it. So let's get straight into it. We've got clowns. Then you're a fuck and you need to die because this shit was fire and that's all you need to know. God damn, they fucking brought it, they murdered the stage, they're the fucking band to see. Check out the clowns, they're the fucking band to see. Nah, fuck the clowns. Ah, fuck you. <laughs> tell you what. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. Sometimes I feel like a motherless child. And a long way from home. Take a breath to my eyes This man was sick as if a cat went in And there's some skull and some pavement Pick up the 
All right, well, I've got Luke and I've got Tommy, and they're the patients. So, how are we, boys? Yeah, pretty good, Matt. Not bad, not bad. So, you've just announced during the week you're playing with Rollo Tomasi, so that's pretty massive. Yeah, it's our first All Asia show, too, so which is pretty huge for us. It's always good fun. Mm, no, it's going to be good, so I'm really looking forward to that one. Their live show is pretty intense, so you're going to be up against it. So, bring your A game, Thomas. Well, we hope so. <laughs> You'll have the floor with them, don't worry about it. Calm down, champ. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you've got a big week, um, big month coming up. You begin recording your album. So tell us about yeah. that. What's going on? Well, that starts Saturday. So um, down at Holes and Corners, Sam Johnson. So really looking forward to it. So Sam's also yeah. just done the Amity and he's done all the Smith Street records. Yeah. So uh, Sam didn't do the Amity. His studio did the Amity. Uh, but he wasn't the producer of that. But uh, he did Driven Fears, uh, latest album, Free Thinker, and that's a fucking ripping album. Yeah, it's rad. Yeah, so, yeah, looking forward to it. Looking forward to yeah, getting some music out there. So yeah, how getting all the songs out there, really, yeah. How many uh, songs on the album? Uh, is there a theme to it at all? Uh, Murder, death, destruction. That kind of thing. No, it's all about Tommy's... Uh, it's funny, like... ...second uh, personality. <laughs> I, I don't know. I feel like we've... I've got enough self-issues to write about myself and to write something about the world. So I've got enough issues going on up here. <laughs> That's what we're all about when we're so, uh, vocalists, aren't yeah, we? It's all so. about our issues and what's going on in our head. So, yeah. uh, so once that's done, what's the plan? So uh, where will we go from here? Well, it's up to Luke. Luke's going to be bad soon. So uh, Congratulations, Luke. Yeah, so we're going to yeah. be out of, out of action for the summer unless someone fills in on guitar. Yeah, it's not a feeling for good. Yeah. <clears throat> he shows us throughout the summer, but um, no, it's yeah, family comes first, so that is true. Yeah. As we're all parents on this couch right now, so we're gonna we're gonna uh, rip through a few film clips too. So Tommy's cousin's gonna help us out. So Tom Shepard uh, is also helping us out. On that. Tom is also behind the camera for us today, so thank you, Tom. Um, yeah, so yeah, I've got a couple of ideas for film clips, and um, yeah, some some pretty uh, meaningful songs that I've written are uh, pretty close to the heart, and I think. Yeah, it'd be good to put a bit of a story behind them imagely, so Sweet. Be good. see what happens, yeah. All right, well, let's listen to uh, The Patient Rip Through, one of their songs right now. Dread News. I'm your lead anchor, Christopher Makatich. Our top story this evening, mortgages. Why Generation Y refuses to take advantage of a buyer's market. 
But who's to blame? More on that tonight. Curriculum critters. Educators or social engineers? Schools around Australia have been noticing a large rising of Year 12 students dropping out right before their end of year exams. Well, we can't throw blame at them when they're being presented these awesome opportunities by the school to get a head start. Then have a midlife crisis when their bodies start to deteriorate and can't do physical work anymore. But up goes the enrolments. Cha-ching! We now go live to Glenn Romano down at the East Link. Are you there with us, Glenn? Yes, Christopher, I've got you there. I'm just down here at the East Link, as you can see. It's backed up as far as your mother on a Thursday night after a few frothies at the Dirty Dawson. Sure, we've all seen that before. Now, the trouble with being this far backed up on the East Link is that you're paying through the roof to get where you're going, but you're only going 40 kilometres. How annoying is that? So what would you give it on, on the Glen Factor Meter? What, what, what sort of rating would you give this on the Glen Factor Meter? Yes, Christopher, as we do go to the Glen Factor Meter, as you can see, there's a slow rise from going, I oh, wouldn't really worry about it. Cunt's fucked. Thanks for that, Glenn. And from all of us here at Dreg News, have a lovely evening. And don't forget, Dreg News, the voice for the kids who jump the train everywhere they go. Yeah. 
We're back with the boys from The Patient. So uh, when's the album launch? Uh, we're doing it November 5th at uh, Last Chance Rock and Roll Bar, so get along to that. Who are you playing with? Uh, I think the Dovetons. Uh, we've got Die FM coming down from Albury, which they're a pretty sick band as well, so check them out. Yeah, I played them on our uh, podcast yeah. recently. So um, anything else? Any other plans, Tommy? Uh, outside of Patient, not just... Um, to do with the patient? Have you got anything on the plate? You say you're making uh, clips, so is that yeah. just something you do normally? or uh, No, not in general. Um, I've actually, yeah, no, nothing. Nothing? You're kind of comedian. Yeah, I've actually been writing some stand-up. I've got some pretty embarrassing stories about myself, so... Fair enough, Stop. you are a redhead, so there's a start. Oh, no, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's all good, I'm here. Carpet matches the drapes. Oh, weird. This is PG, <laughs> mate. <laughs> uh, anyway, that's been Luke and that's been Tommy. And we've got TJ in the house, who's Tommy's son. So that's the patient. So here's another clip. Thanks, boys. Champion. Cheers, mate. <laughs>
That's all we got time for this week. Thanks to the patient little TJ for being on board today. That was great. Anyway, next week we've got Bombs Are Falling, so check it out. See us. <laughs>